Welcome to ReFilm, in 1960, Paul Kemp, an American journalist and struggling author, arrives in San Juan, Puerto Rico, in order to secure a job at a local newspaper. As he waits outside the editor-in-chief's office, a guy named Bob Sala introduces himself as the photographer of the paper, and tells him about the city in general. Soon, Kemp is invited into the office, where he meets the editor Edward Lauterman, who explains that he is looking to add enthusiastic individuals to his team, that can help him uplift the rank of the paper. After getting an initial introduction to the team, Kemp visits the library, where he meets Hal Sanderson, who offers him a job. The same night, Kemp and Sala go out for a drink, where Sala reveals that he was the only one who applied for the job. He also reveals that the newspaper will be going down soon, but his colleagues disagree with his prediction. After their friends leave, Sala tells him about a guy named Moberg, who works as a correspondent for the newspaper, but rarely shows up at work due to his drinking problems. Kemp also tells him about Sanderson's offer, and asks his opinion about him, to which Sala tells him he used to work for the paper, but is a freelance realtor now. He also tells him that Sanderson has many connections in the city, that might help him in his career. After dinner, Sala drops him back at his hotel, while offering him a place to live. After coming back inside, as Kemp spends his free time on the boat, he meets a girl, Chano, who reveals she is out for a swim to avoid a boring business party. Kemp is quickly impressed by her, and tries to continue the conversation, but she leaves without answering any of his questions. After some time in Puerto Rico, Kemp observes that although the city is a tourist hotspot, it is not considered safe to walk around, due to poor security. He tries to highlight the issues in his article, but Edward refuses to publish it, as it might cause a setback to tourism, and asks him to focus on the attractions instead. As they discuss the article, Moberg walks into the office, and Edward threatens to fire him, but he argues with him instead, knowing he cannot fire him without clearing his dues. As Kemp interrupts the fight and takes Edward back to his office, he offers him to take charge and replace Moberg. While visiting the airport to cover the upcoming tour of the mayor of Miami, Kemp comes across Sanderson again, who invites him over for lunch. While going to his place, Sanderson tells him about his work, and how real estate is a gold mine, as people are ready to pay a fortune to own a piece of land in Puerto Rico. At Sanderson's beachfront villa, Kemp spots Chano, and realizes she is engaged to him, but she pretends not to know him from before. As she arranges lunch for them, Sanderson offers Kemp to write ads for his real estate business, so more people are attracted to it. After the informal meeting with Sanderson, Kemp packs up his stuff and takes it to Sala's apartment, as he offered him a place to stay. As he looks around the miserable apartment, Sala reveals Moberg also shares the room with him, but spends most of his time outside. Although Kemp does not like the apartment, he is forced to accept it, having no other place to stay. The next day, Sala takes Kemp with him to a cockfight, and tells him how he makes money out of it. After coming back to the apartment, they are watching TV, and Moberg shows up. Sala tells Kemp that Moberg brings in leftover filters from the rum plant, which contain the highest alcohol concentration. Moberg also whines about losing the job at the paper, and expresses his wish to kill Lauterman, but Sala sends him away. The next morning, Kemp tells Edward about his latest article, in which he talks about the poor living conditions in the city, but Edward asks him to go with the flow, as he cannot change anything. Kemp gets upset, but Edward tells him that the newspaper is financed by the sponsors, and they need to keep the writings within their guidelines. He thinks even if they publish such articles, no one would pay attention, because people only come here to enjoy their vacations, and are not interested in the problems of the region. Kemp later visits Sanderson's house, and spots him making out with Chano in the sea. Soon, he is joined by Sanderson's friends and business partners, Art Zimberger and his wife. Sanderson tells Kemp that Zimberger is a US Marine, who is going to work with him on an upcoming project. Meanwhile, a few locals show up at the beach, but Sanderson sends them away by saying it's private property. Kemp gets upset by his behavior, but cannot say anything to him. At the party, Sanderson invites Kemp to an informal discussion with his friends, including Zimberger and Mr. Segura, who tell him about their new project of building hotels on the island, and asks him to write articles in their favor. While coming back from the party, Kemp, who is smitten by Chano, tells Sala about her, but he asks him to stay away from her, as she is with Sanderson at the moment. Soon, they go into a roadside hotel for dinner, but the waitress refuses to serve them saying they are already closed. The owner shows up, but Sala argues with him as well, while asking him to prepare dinner for him. Kemp realizes that the owner is preparing to fight them with his local friends, so he asks Sala to leave. On Kemp's suggestion, they casually walk away and try to escape, but the locals start chasing them. 
Sala gets afraid thinking they might get killed, but Kemp tries to scare them away. They are cornered by the locals and get into a fight, but the police show up and interrupt them. They are taken to the police station, and are charged with multiple cases, including assault and hurting a police officer during the fight. The prosecutor intends to keep them in the lockup for 30 days, but Sanderson comes over and bails them out. After coming back to their apartment next morning, Sala requests him to come over with him, to recover his car from where they left it the night before. They find the car, but discover that the locals have shown their anger at it, but Sala finds a way to make it work again. After an adventurous ride back home, Kemp meets Sanderson's team, who tells him that the US military is relinquishing the lease on a property, and they are planning to take advantage of the situation. After listening to their plan of building an entire estate, Kemp expresses his concern, as he thought they only wanted to build one hotel, but he is told that this is just the starting point. After the meeting, Kemp is asked to sign confidentiality papers, to make sure he does not reveal their business secret to anyone. Kemp agrees to do it, but asks Sanderson to return the favor. He offers him some money, and hands over a new car, while asking him to pick up Chanot from his house. Kemp meets her at Sanderson's place, where she tells him about the upcoming carnival, and requests him to join as well. Kemp tells Sanderson did not invite him, but she insists on him participating. While going back to the party, they enjoy their time in the car and fall for each other, but resist the temptation. After coming back to the apartment, Sala tells him that the newspaper reported about last night's incident. His concern about the report turns out to be true, as Edward scolds them for their adventure. Seeing Sala upset about it, Kemp invites him to the island, and offers to join the carnival as well. On the island, Mr. Zimberger briefs them about the project of building hotels and beachfront resorts. Kemp and Sala later discuss Sanderson's plan. Kemp thinks the project is going to be a nightmare for the locals, because they will lose their lands, but he knows Sanderson does not care. At night, they arrive at the carnival, but Sanderson gets upset to see Sala with him. He scolds Kemp for showing him the island and telling him about their deal, but Kemp assures him that Sala won't tell anyone about it. On the boat, Kemp and Chano spend some time together, when he tells her about his job, and his wish to be a better writer. After dinner, Kemp leaves the party to join his friends, but Chano expresses her wish to join him. As Sanderson does not want her to leave, he argues with her, but she ignores his concerns and decides to go anyway. At the club, drunk Chano dances with the locals, which upsets Sanderson and he tries to intervene, but is beaten up by the security. He and Kemp are thrown out of the club, while Chano is left behind. The next morning, Kemp meets Sanderson at the boat and asks about Chano, but he expresses his anger with Kemp, and tells him that their deal is over. Upon returning home, Moberg meets them in the apartment, and tells them that Lauterman has left the job, and the newspaper might close at any moment. He offers a special drug which they decide to try. Under the influence, Kemp experiences a moment of realization, and decides to expose Sanderson's real estate scams. Meanwhile, Chano shows up out of nowhere, and asks them to let her stay. Kemp later meets Lauterman, who has returned to office, and asks him to publish the story about Sanderson, but Lauterman refuses to do it. Kemp begins to realize the hurdles in journalism, and decides to find his way out. Chano apologizes to him, thinking she has caused trouble for him, but he satisfies her saying she helped him clear his thoughts, as he realized he must expose the scams instead of being a part of them. They receive a court notice, revealing that Sanderson has withdrawn his bail, and they are now wanted by the police. As Sala leaves to talk to their lawyer, Moberg shows up at the apartment, and tells Kemp that the newspaper is being closed forever. Kemp decides to print one last issue to highlight Sanderson's shady deals, but is informed they don't have enough resources to do it. Meanwhile, Kemp receives a note from Chano, revealing that she has gone to New York, and left a $100 bill for Kemp. While drinking the last bottle of rum, Kemp decides to bet these $100 on a cockfight to make some money, and shares his idea with Sala and Moberg who agree to do it. Moberg takes them to his witch friend Papa Nebo, and asks her to bless the cock, so he can win his last fight. After winning the fight, they return to the office, but Moberg informs them that Sanderson's men have taken the printing press, making it impossible to print their last issue. Kemp continues his quest, and leaves Puerto Rico on one of Sanderson's boats. The post credit scene shows that he returned to New York, where he married Chanot, and became a successful and renowned journalist, after finally discovering his true potential.